guys, welcome back. So I have a cute little ghost mold. Ooh. Ooh. And g quite honestly, it, it came in a set of two, and honestly, I don't remember where I got them. I think it was from Timu, but I honestly don't remember. So we are going to make a spooky ghost. And yeah, I know, it's it's July. Who cares? It's some people call it Summerween. Yeah, okay. Um, so I have, for my spooky ghost mold, some cheesecloth. And this is just regular, plain old, boring doll cheesecloth that you use in the kitchen or in uh, sewing, crafting, whatever. Um, and I think I got it from Michael's craft store. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, so we are going to put our cheesecloth in our spooky ghost. Uh, uh. Yeah, I know, I'm weird. Just leave me to it. So, mental note, don't pop off eyeballs. I should have known better. So I'm going to put a dot of clear where each of the eyeballs goes. Put them back where they belong. And then give it another cure. Okay. So his eyeballs have been successfully installed. Eyeball installation done. All right, so now over here, what I have is six ounces of my Resiner's one-to-one -one epoxy. I do not think I'm going to need all six ounces, but I don't know, so, you know, hey. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour in a little bit, and this has been sitting for a few minutes just to let it degas and whatnot. I'm going to pour in a little bit, and then we are going to get our cheesecloth. And we're going to start poking it down inside because if I were to add the cheesecloth first and then add the resin, it would most likely knock all the cheesecloth down to the bottom and I would not get in a evenly clothy distribution. So hold the cheesecloth, pour some more resin. I want to make sure that I get all the way around in his little body, get his little fingers and little hands. going to gently press down and then poke the cheesecloth down around so we're leaving our power bit and our battery container out mm. You, yeah, bright red alcohol ink. Oot, toot, toot. And just drop it around onto the cheesecloth. 
onto the resin. You can make them spooky. Spooky ghost. Oh, some silicone. Oh, that silicone is too heavy. Let's try a smaller piece of silicone. Oh yeah, that'll do. Look at that. Alright. So now that we've got our candle weighted down, we've got our spooky red, we've got our cheesy cloth, we've got our resin, we've got our spoopy ghost. I've got a little bit of resin left at the bottom of my cup. I'm just going to go around and make that red look a little more spoopy. We're going to go ahead and let him cure, and I will see you guys for the demold. See you soon. He's done. Let's get him out. See how the cheesecloth looks. Ooh. Oh, the cheesecloth turned out looking really cool in there. It gives it some texture, but it just looks ethereal, you know? It's not a... It's not solid. It's not... You know, it just gives them texture in there. So let's test it out. Oh, spooky ghost. Oh, you can see the cheesecloth when you turn it on. I'm going to turn off the light. Hang on. Ooh, spooky. Spooky ghost. Oh, that looks really cool. I wish you could see what I can see inside him. That looks so awesome. Oh, that's a little better. You can see it. See? That's so cool. And I love the way that the red came in to the bottom. And our candle is, or yeah, our tea light is mostly hidden. So yeah. What do you guys think? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Let me know what you think down in the comments of our cute little ghost. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, hopefully I will see you again. For the next one. Oh, I'm spooky. Thanks, guys. Take care. Cheers.